I'm here at Wat Arun, which is a temple right across the river from Wat Po. As you can see, I'm already completely drenched with sweat. It's only 10 in the morning. And you get some exercise when you come to Wat Arun. This isn't just, you know, come and look and observe like some of the other temples. You have to climb this big tower behind me, several steps of stairs. It's sort of like climbing Chichen Itza in Mexico or, or you know, parts of the Inca Trail to get to um, Machu Picchu. It's pretty steep. It's really hot. There are sections where there are no guardrails, so it's pretty intense. One thing is for sure when you walk in Bangkok, and that is that you have to look in 360 degrees around you at all times. Looking straight ahead is not going to do it because there's so much coming at you every day on the street. There are the fruit sellers with their and the vegetable sellers with their huge um, carts. They often can't really see ahead of them. They're just pushing it along, so you better get out of the way. And there are food vendors often on both sides of the sidewalk. And sometimes there's open flames and there's spattling hot oil and all kinds of stuff. There's dogs, there's cats, there's stuff coming up from the buildings up ahead. There's monks walking and as a woman you really are not supposed to touch the monks. Um, they're not supposed to touch women so I, I really try and respectfully move over and they try and move away from me and sometimes there's not that much room so it's a constant negotiation. There's also just um, so many people and children and, and mopeds and tuk-tuks and just so much happening all around. It's just this fantastic swirl of chaos and somehow everything works. One thing I've been indulging a lot in here in Thailand is foot massages. Who doesn't love a foot massage, right? Especially when you're walking a couple hours a day and cooking all day long. So it's something that I definitely love. And um, it's only about 220 baht, which is under $7. And people here have great energy. They're really strong. Reflexology is for all the points in your, in your feet correspond to different organs in your body. So I'm in the fruit market where every morning I get my mango steam and my rambutan and some of my favorite fruits here. So let's go meet my fruit seller. Oh, one kilo. The good ones, please. <laughs> one kilo. One kilo. One kilo. Yes, one kilo, please. This is, yes, I love the mango scene. This is where I get my mango scene every day. And homeless is so expensive. So I've been having so much here in Thailand, almost a kilo a day, I think. And it's just delicious. My favorite guy. We also have beautiful mangoes. And what do you call this one again? Uh, Liji. Rambutan. Rambutan. The Rambutan. And then this one? Lord Apple. Lord Apple. Lord Apple. Yeah. And then that one? Jackfruit. Jackfruit. Yeah. Mmm.
This is my teacher, Pan. She taught me so many amazing things. She's an amazing teacher. She's going to come back to America. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> she teaches vegetarian food. She doesn't like vegetables. But I like mushrooms. You like mushrooms. No, you like mushrooms. You like ginger sister. I like ginger sister. Ginger sister is a vegetable. Yeah. Han, <laughs> what's my favorite? You know. Pumpkin. The pumpkin hummus. Pumpkin hummus. What else? Pumpkin tom yum soup. Tom yum soup Every with day. pumpkin. 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 Everything is, is pumpkin. 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 Every morning. I want some pumpkin hummus. <laughs> you didn't save me any today. Uh, oh no. I'll see you next time. Whenever